All right, we're going to do some fast math, and today we're going to be talking about compatible numbers again. And these are tricks, sort of, but they're really great ways to think about math. Uh, not the way I was taught math, um, but a lot easier. Um, it makes math creative and fun. So let's, before we start, do a quick review. Um, 1 plus 9 equals 10. That's compatible. Compatible numbers, remember, are numbers that go together to equal 10. We're going to talk about 10 first. So 1 plus 9 equals 10. Let's go what? 2 plus 8 equals 10. Learn these and know them. Most people know those two. 3 plus 7. Most kids get a little fuzzy on their 3 and 7. That, that equals 10. But 3 plus 7 equals 10. And look at this. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Notice the pattern here. 9, 8, 7, 6. 4, 3, 2, 1. And then the last one is 5 plus 5 equals 10. If you don't know those facts, you got to learn those quick. Just get them in your head. Now, you don't have to learn any more because once you get to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 plus 4 equals 10. And we have that, and we start going backwards again. So we have all those. So the cool thing is, when you know that, you know a ton of other stuff. Because, um, let's do this, 1 plus, I want to show you this. And we're going to get into a little bit of double digit compatibles. Um, and if you had 1 plus 9, that's 10. Duh, you guys know that already enough. But if you add, watch this, if you had a 0, 10 plus 90, you add a 0 here, a 0 here, and a zero here, a zero to each one, you've got 10 plus 90 equals 100. These are compatible, and they're going to come in really, really handy for doing some fast math in your head. Let's do 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. But let's add, what would happen if you add zeros to all those? You've got 20 plus 80 doesn't equal 10 anymore, equals 100. So we're adding, the way the reason that works is you have 10 tens, you have 8 tens, and you have 2 tens. So it all, it's basically, well, it is this exact same math with higher numbers. So you've got, let's do 3 plus 7 equals 10. 0, 0, you stick on another 0, and you've got 30 plus 70 equals 100. 4 plus 6 equals 10, 40 plus 60 equals 100. And this is, if you know this, it's going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to math, because you're going to see how to pull apart numbers and create your own ways of adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. So 5 plus 5, 50 plus 50 is 100. There you go. So those are all the basic um, double-digit compatible. No, they're not at all. These are the basic ones we're going to talk about today. There are a lot more, and I'm going to show you tricks with those later. All right, let's try some. What's compatible to 30? You're saying 70. You're right. Let's just do it a different way. 30 plus 70 equals 100. All right, here's another one. 40 plus what, blank spot, what equals 100? 40 plus what? 4 plus what equals 10? Should be 6. If you're thinking 6, 4 plus 6 equals 10. Just add that 0. 40 plus 60 equals 100. All right, here's another one. What is compatible? to the 50. So what do you have to add to 50 is 50 to give you 100. Look at the 5. 5. Add the zeros. Zeros. 50 and 50 equals 100. Alright, here's another one. 70 plus what gets you to the 100? 70 plus what gets you to 100? You can look at the 7 first. 7 Plus what will give you 10? 3, add the 0. So 70 and 30 equals 100. All 
great. Now we got 20. 20 plus what is going to give you 100. Focus on the 10 first and the 2. The zeros can come later. 2 plus 8 equals 10. 20 plus 80 equals 100. 10 plus 90? 100? You got it. 40 plus 60 equals 100. All right. All right, quick review and then we're done. 10 plus 90 equals 100. We know that because 1 plus 9 equals 10. 20 plus 80 equals 100. 2 plus 8 equals 10. 30 plus 70 equals 100. 3 plus 7 equals 10. 40 plus 60 equals 100. They are compatible. 4 plus 6 equals 10. And the last one, I know, I don't even have to write down, but I'm going to anyway. 50 plus 60 equals 10. What? No? Not 10? No? Well, well, well then what? Ah, uh, you got it. 100.